cold weather survival is a challenge that can be mastered by gaining knowledge and experience. In this survival series I show you cold weather survival techniques that you can practice and apply as soon as you need to survive in a cold environment. Water is plentiful in most cold regions in one form or another. When water is not available from other sources, it must be obtained by melting snow or ice. If snow must be used, the most compact snow in the area should be obtained. Melting ice or snow to obtain water is a slow process. If possible, water should be obtained from running streams or lakes. The purpose of the water generator is to collect solar energy for melting snow or ice. It follows the same design principle as it is applied for my super shelter. The black garbage bag collects the solar energy and heats the air inside the bag. If the air temperature is above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, snow and ice will start to melt at or below 32 degrees and it will remain frozen. The outer cover, the transparent bag, reduces heat loss by convection and is essential for a proper function of the water generator. Available solar energy is at its maximum at midday when the sun is at its highest point. Keep in mind, solar power is lower at dawn and dusk. In reality, they are only about 6 hours of maximum energy available daily. Here we see the amount of water obtained after one hour. Even if the water appears clear and pure, without prior purification it should not be drunk. Water obtained by melting snow or ice may be purified by use of water purification tablets. Well, that's it, until next time. Stay safe, stay smart.